Tokyo Psycho and Schlock. Two great titles, two great DVDs, both of which we'll be talking about today on Racine's Underground Cinema. Hello, my fellow movie geeks, and welcome to Underground Cinema. This is where we talk about DVDs coming out that just aren't talked about anywhere else. And you got these uh, the filmmakers that are working with a really low budget, and they're getting their creative vision put on film, getting it on DVD, getting it distributed, not getting enough promotion. We're here to fix that. Plus, you have these low-budget movies from foreign countries that are being released on DVD by uh, American distributors, and we like to talk a little bit about those. And then there's the classic Hollywood stars, like a few weeks ago when we talked about Buster Keaton. We don't talk about the classic films from these stars. We talk about the really interesting stuff they did that's lesser known. That's what underground cinema is all about, and that's what we talk about here. We have a celebrity guest today, but you know, it's going to be someone different than we had planned. We had it all set that we were going to be talking to former Three's Company star Joyce DeWitt. I mean, she was like out in the waiting room today. We had her. This time we had her. She didn't call up about a Nutrisystem ad. She didn't cancel on us. We had her. We came up with $3,500. It was in nickels, but we got it to her. And we got her on this show. And she demands a fee. I'm sorry, but that's what we have to do that to get these top stars like, you know, Joyce DeWitt. The producer came up to me and said, you know, we, we're not going to be using Joyce DeWitt today. We're going to be using uh, my daughter. She's going to be your celebrity guest. And, oh, really? What films have your daughter been, has your daughter been in? And he said, none. And I said, oh, well, how? And he said he was going to fire me and replace me with a kitten as host of this show if I didn't agree to have his daughter as my celebrity guest. As a result... I, I know that Racine would rather see something cute, warm, and fuzzy than something old, middle-aged, bald on the show. And so I knew that I had to send Joyce to it home. You know, I went out there. She started crying. I got hit in the stomach. It was really an ugly scene. But Joyce DeWitt will not be on this show. I don't think she'll have to be on next week's show. I placed a uh, quick call to my good friend, filmmaker Jason Collum, Racine filmmaker Jason Collum. I think he'll be with us next week to talk about his movies, uh, including his latest, October Moon. But uh, Joyce, I don't know, you know, I'm going to have to be calling up her agent. I'm going to have to, you know, maybe offer her some bearskin rugs, something like that. But I'm going to have to do something to get Joyce to it. Maybe we'll give her a kitten. Later on, I'll go look in the microwave and see if we have one. Now. The very first movie we're going to be talking about, uh, before we get to Tokyo Psycho and Schlock, I just wanted to open with those because I love the titles. But the title of this one's great, too. Heaven Help Me, I'm In Love. My good, close, personal friend Mark Baranowski down in North Carolina. Hey, Mark is one of those truly multi-talented people. He produces, he directs, he writes, he acts, he composes music, he does artwork, he does the editing of these films, he designs websites, I think he parks the cars at his producer. He's really one of the multi-talented people out there, and he uses that creativity. And he, if he's known for anything at all, he's known for horror movies, but this is not a horror movie. Mark also has courage as a creative person, the courage to do something completely different, completely off the track. This is a character-driven romantic drama, Heaven Help Me, I'm In Love. And he really gets inside the characters with his script, he hires a bunch of actors, works within the confines of a low budget, and he's one of those filmmakers that puts his creative vision on film. Heaven Help Me, I'm In Love is his latest movie, and the best way to find it is to go to his website, and it's createtolive.com, www.createtolive.com. You'll find more information about this movie and Mark's other movies. I wanted to show the trailer to this movie, but it's got a bad word, and they wouldn't let us, so I can't show the trailer. All I can do is tell you about it. Now, Mark's wife, Riley Morgan, is an actress that's in several of his films, and, you know, is an actress, you know, in her own right, and she's also in this. As is Brink Stevens, Scream Queen Brink Stevens, but she can play anything, so she can work in any genre. She's very versatile as an actress. And I mention those three people because all three of them are among our celebrity guests, and it came from Lake Michigan, the Sundance of Horror Festivals, which is going to be happening in October right here in Racine, down at uh, Memorial Hall, the Civic Center. We'll be talking about that more and more, especially as the summer months come and we get closer to the event. But those three are among our celebrity, uh, celebrity guests. And Mark 
is making movies all the time. He's working on one right now. Uh, and you can go to his website and find out more information. But you know, to do horror movies and then to you know jump the track and, and come out with the character-driven romantic drama, you know, there's some comical touches and things like that within the uh, dialogue. And uh, he explores relationships from different levels, different age groups, uh, different social levels, and uh, tries to really get inside of them that way. Uh, his creativity is such that with what he has, with the means that he has, he does a really good job. And we're really respectful and have a lot of admiration for Mark. And we're glad that we had a chance to see this movie. And we really recommend you taking a look at some of Mark's uh, other films as well. You go to his website, www.createtolive.com, and find out more information. Mark Brink, Mark Baranowski, Brink Stevens, and uh, Riley Morgan are going to be coming to our film festival. It came from LakeMichigan.com. Hey, this is going to be, like I said, the Sundance of Horror Festival. This is going to be a festival that's going to have a lot of film screenings there uh, from Wisconsin filmmakers and other filmmakers all over the Midwest uh, showing their movies. We're going to have producers, directors, actors uh, there to sign autographs, to offer advice. Hey, Lloyd Kaufman of Trauma Films, you know, Toxic Avengers series and uh, class of Newcomb High, Tromeo and Juliet. He's going to he's gonna be there with us. And uh, Fred Olin Ray, producer-director Fred Olin Ray, he's going to be there with us. Uh, Brink Stevens, like I said before, and Mark and uh, Riley Morgan. And uh, uh, Susie Lorraine, screen queen Susie Lorraine. Debbie Rashad's going to be there. Eddie Deason, comedy actor Eddie Deason. He played Eugene in the movie Grease. He was in uh, War Games. He was the guy, the, you know, the goofy guy up on the fer Ferris wheel in uh, 1941. Uh, well, with Murray Hamilton, but Murray won't be there because he's dead. And uh, he's been in a lot of, I Want to Hold Your Hand, he was in that. And he's been in several movies like uh, Critters 2 and Teenage Exorcist and stuff like that. Uh, Teenage Exorcist is a Fred Olin Ray movie. So uh, yeah, he's going to be there. Uh, we're working on some other celebrities that are going to be there. A lot of things happening. So we'll be talking about that on every show. It came from Lake Michigan. You go to www.itcamefromlakemichigan.com. It came from Lake Lake Michigan is all one word. And uh, you'll find out more information about that festival. That's something that's coming up, and that's something that's really exciting. So you really want to check that out.